Google Night Teacher. Hello guys, welcome. Thank you for joining on time. Today we're going to start with a new topic. But uh, before we start, tell me guys, how are you doing? How was your day? I play League of Legends on the afternoon. <laughs> really? Do you play League of Legends? But, um, yeah. <laughs> Don't you play Oof? No. <laughs> Why not? I don't have friends that like League of Legends. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. What about the others, guys? What do you do today? Do you guys work? Yes. Uh, I am really tired. For my work. I'm exhausted as well. This is my second job, guys. So I wake up at 4 a.m. And yeah, and I and I sleep 
until like 11 p.m. So I feel extremely tired. I think that tomorrow is Friday and payday is getting close. So that's my motive right now. <laughs> so uh, guys, thank you very much for joining on time and for being really committed. I understand that some of you work, some others study, but trust me, this is going to help you in your future. So um, as I already told you, we are going to have a very interesting class today because we are gonna be talking about nouns, especially this, countable and uncountable nouns. And this topic is very important for you not to get confused sometimes. But before we start, let's continue, or let's start, I mean, with this activity, which is about crimes. Let's see. So I'll show you some sentences and you, were, and you will try to guess the word. For example, if I tell you to lie about a fake your identity, normally to make money. What is this action, guys? To lie about or fake your identity, normally to make money. What are we talking about? A uh, hacker. Okay. Any other guess? Proud. Proud. Okay. Let's see. Fraud. Excellent. So this action is considered fraud or fraude. Now let's see. Help me read this part, please. Daniel Hernandez, help me with this. Okay, adoption. No, Abducting. adopting. Uh -huh. Adopting someone and holding them captive. Excellent. So we have abducting someone and holding them captive. What is this? What's this action? A night test or something like that? Close. This is kidnapping. Kidnapping. Okay. Kidnapping. Excellent. So it means sequestrar a alguien. Kidnapping. Uh, help me with this, please. Moses. Okay. The unlawful killing of another human without justification. Excellent. So we have the unlawful killing of another human without justification. What is this, guys? Murder. 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 It can be a homicide or... Murder. Murder. Perfect. Uh, help me with this. Edu Parada. Um, stealing of money or or other value <clears throat> from a victim pocket without then not not design not design noticing noticing excellent stealing this is the action to steal of money or other valuables from a victim's pocket this is a pocket without them noticing what is this called. Um, robbery or I don't know mm, yeah. not robbery to be honest because robbery is considered in high scales for example if you go to a bank and you try to steal the money there so that's considered robbery in this case this yes. is pickpocket pick pocket. So uh, this, yeah this is considered a compound now because we are using the verb to pick and pocket, okay, which is the noun, pickpocket. Es pick significa levantar, and pocket significa 
eh, una, una bolsa, un bolsillo, pickpocket, ¿ok? Teacher, Ajá. Eso, eso es como un carterista. Exactly. Es yeah. como, es para nosotros sería como un hurto, no como, o sea, un hurto, o sea, no. que no hay violencia. Exactly, exactly. Oh. Okay. Carterear sería, le dicen a la gente a veces. Ah, ok, gracias. And then we have this one. Eh, Juan Hernández. <coughs> to force someone to have sex against their will. Uh, a rape. Mm. Violation. Rape? Viol yeah, that's the one. Violation is different. Violation is when you break rules, okay? Cuando ustedes rompen las reglas, so that's considered a violation, okay? In this case, we are talking about a rape, okay? Rape. Rape. This is rape. Uh, Juan Campos, Hernández. Okay. Taking something unlawfully from a person or place by force. Eh, Acabo de decir Violent Violent No Violation No oh. dije, I, 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 I see Robbery like two minutes. There, there you go Robbery 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 So as I told you guys I gave you the example of the, the bank Right So let's suppose that you go to the bank With the intention of I don't know taking money like without consent so that will be considered a robbery taking some something unlawfully from a person or placed by force now we have this one and help me please who hasn't read i mean who hasn't read moses okay Dream faster than is allowed in a particular area. Uh, I don't know. We have guys driving faster than is allowed in a particular area. Speeding. Uh, Speeding. Yeah, speeding. How, how, how is the translation of speeding? Carreritas, oh, I don't know. Uh, actually, I, I'm not sure how to say this in Spanish. Need for the speed. Uh -huh, but guys, how would like you say a... this? How would you say speeding? It'll be like, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> no, because it says driving faster than is allowed in a particular area. But we are not talking about two cars or, I don't know, races. We're talking about a particular action. Maybe, I don't know, acelerar, quizás. Eso, very good, Christian. It'll be like exceso de velocidad. Eh? Very good. Christian, help me, please. Su premio es leer esto. <laughs> okay. The action or crime of stealing. Uh -huh. no, no, no. Steal. <laughs> theft. Theft. Very good. It's theft. The action or a crime of stealing. This is a theft. To go onto someone's land or enter their building without permission. This doesn't exist in this country, if, if I'm not mistaken. This is pretty common in the United States. There is a particular word they use for this particular action to go onto someone's land or enter their building without permission. How do you call this, guys? 
invade? <laughs> I don't know. Invade will be, I don't know, maybe a country trying to invade another country. Invadir, right? So that is like word terms. If I'm mistaken, this is considered trespassing. Traspasar. Trespassing. There you go. This is very common, trespassing. Trust me. Help me read this part, Roberto Portal. Okay. To damage or destroy public or private property. Private property. Private, private property. Very good. What is this, guys? To damage or destroy? Vandalism. Vandalism. Let's see. Vandalism. Excellent. Vandalism. To damage or destroy public or private property. Excellent. So uh, we did this activity because if I'm not mistaken, there is a vocabulary exercise in the platform about crime. So now let's continue with today's topic. So as I was telling you, today we're going to be talking about countable and uncountable nouns, okay? What is a countable noun? Something that we can count and uncountable, something that we cannot count. So let's keep it simple. When we wanna use countable things, we can use numbers, when we, but when we are trying to use uncountable things, it is impossible for us to use numbers. <clears throat> so let's pay attention to this video which is going to explain a little bit about pluralization. Why is pluralization important? Because whenever you try to use um, countable nouns, you will, you will pluralize them. Right? And sometimes pluralization is not only adding the S at the end of the noun, but sometimes we change the, the complete word. So let's pay attention to this video. But first, let me stop recording. Okay. Yo le puse en el grupo, teacher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so now let's talk about quantifiers. Do you happen to know what quantifiers are, guys? Any idea about quantifiers? Eh, cuantitativo, lo que no se puede medir con números, pero sí con con cantidades. Ah, por ejemplo, oh, son many. Beautiful sería uno, ¿no? Uh, not really. Those are um uh, those articles. No, uh, he said uh, beautiful that that is comparative, but that that'll be more beautiful, right? But yeah, quantifiers are quantificadores. As you said, something that we can now count with numbers but with quantities for example we have this um help me please wait eduardo lucero uh, we use quantifiers when we want to give someone information uh, about the number or something uh, how much or how many Exactly. So let's pay attention to those double questions. We have how much and how many. Like little, much, and yes? Exactly. Many. Yes. Those are quantifiers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Help me with this information, please. Who is falling asleep? Quien se está durmiendo? Let's see. Daniel. Hernandez. Okay, the usage of much and many depends on whether the noun it modified is a count noun or not count noun. Use much with not count nouns and use many with count noun. Exactly. So pretty much much means 
Uh, well, no, I'm not gonna say in Spanish. Just keep this in mind. Much is used for uncountable nouns, and many is used with countable nouns. Okay. Remember, many countable nouns, much uncountable nouns. So we have two examples. We have, how many bedrooms does Joe's new house have? So, bedrooms. So this is plural. That's why I'm using how many. How much time did it take Alan to get a formal lease from the landlord? In this case, I'm using much because I'm using time. Time is the, the word, okay? The word time is uncountable, okay? La palabra tiempo es incontable. But teacher, I have seen times. I have seen the word times with an S. Yeah but the meaning is different, okay? Time as an uncountable noun means tiempo, and times as a countable noun means veces, okay? Entonces, time, la palabra time, con una S al final, significa veces, y time sin ninguna S, así siendo singular, significa tiempo. Entonces, nosotros decimos, ¿cuánto tiempos? ¿O cuántos tiempos? No, right? So, just keep in mind that, well, let me tell you this in Spanish. How many means, ¿cuántos? ¿Cuántas? Grábense eso. How many significa, ¿cuántos? ¿Cuántas? Y how much significa, ¿cuánto? ¿Cuánta? ¿Ok? So, let's use the logic. How many bathrooms? ¿Cuánto cuartos o habitaciones? ¿O cuántas habitaciones? ¿Cuántos cuartos? Ah, so makes sense now, right? What about how much? ¿Cuánto time? ¿Tiempo? ¿Cuánto tiempo? How much time? Okay. Questions so far? I mean, teacher. No? Teacher. Yes. What, what is the meaning? Lease, formal lease. A formal lease is un contrato formal que le hace el arrendadero, the landlord. Okay. So, for example, you want to rent an apartment. So, you may get a formal lease from the landlord. Okay. Usted puede tener un contrato formal de su arrendadero, que sería el landlord, la persona que le renta a usted. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So now we have this. These are the most common quantifiers. We have, um, help me please, Christian, number one. Little? Very good. So little, the meaning is small, minor. Little is uncountable, okay? Little se ocupa para cosas incontables. Then we have few, which is small, slight. This is used for countable nouns, cosas contables. Continue, please, Edu Parada. A lot of. Very lot good, of. very good. We have a lot of, this is a large number of amounts or amount, I mean. So this is both. It can be used with countable nouns or uncountable nouns. Then we have the other one. Jaime Antillon, help me please. Jaime? Sorry. How do you pronounce this word, this one? Many. Excellent. We have many. This is a very numerous. This is countable. Then we have much. This is very too a lot. This is uncountable. Then we have this one, Juan Campos Hernandez. Okay, teacher. Quantifier any, meaning never at all. Uh, very good. Countable now, uncountable now, 
two forms be by use. Excellent. Very good. So we have any, never at all. Countable noun and uncountable noun. Esto se puede usar para los dos. Okay. Any. Um, most of the times we use any with negative structures. Para cosas negativas or questions. We use any. Not all the time, but most of the times. Then we have lots of, which is similar to a lot of. Okay. We have lot, lot of, which is similar to this one. It is also used for both, countable and uncountable. And we have the last one, Moses. I have questions. Uh -huh. no, one question. <laughs> what is the pronunciation? Lots of, what do you say? Which one? Lots of. Lots, lots of. Lots mm -hmm. of. Lots of. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the next is some. An unspecified, among unspecified, or, unspecified, unspecified, among or number of. Exactly. So this one is also countable and uncountable. Let me give you uh, some advice. Vaya. Cuando una persona intenta traducir algo del inglés al español, por ejemplo, ellos dicen. Yo compré unos libros. Ese unos no saben cómo traducirlo. Y siempre pone a or an. Y eso también se lo he notado a ustedes. Cuando tratan de traducir del inglés al español, siempre dice unos. Y piensa que a y, o an significa unos también. But no. Remember. A and an mean un o una okay so for example i have a book i have a book yo tengo un libro but what happens if i want to say yo tengo unos libros so we will use some okay it means unos unas I have some books, okay? So please guys, don't get confused. Now let's continue. Now let's pay attention to the difference between a little and little, okay? But teacher, those are the same, not really. In this one, we have the article A, oh, and this one we don't. Can we read the first sentence, please? Uh, Juan Campos. No, Juan Hernandez. I have a little patience with people who pro procrastinate. 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 Excellent. Eduardo uh, Lucero, the second one. Uh, I have a little patience Passing with people who procrastinate. 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 Very good. I have a little patience with people who procrastinate. So as you can see, we have an emoji here. So this is telling me that this sentence is positive and this one is something negative. So teacher, so what's the difference? I have a little, I have little. No es lo mismo decir, hey, bichos, yo tengo eh, eh, poca paciencia con la gente que procrastinea mucho. Yo tengo poca paciencia. Eso es algo serio. Pero ¿qué pasa si yo digo, hey, saben que yo tengo un poco de paciencia con la gente que procrastinea? Entonces, the first one is implying something positive, something that isn't bad. Okay. Hey, I have a little patience. Okay. But I have a little patient. I have little and not enough. Tengo poca paciencia, pero no la suficiente como para tolerar una acción. And the same happens with few and a few. Porque no es lo mismo decir que yo tengo pocos amigos, a que yo tengo unos pocos amigos. So help me read the first sentence, Jaime Antillón. 
I have a few friends to go to the concert with. Number uh, two. Uh huh. Continue. Yes. I have few friends to go to the concert with. Excellent. So as I mentioned, if you want to make this sentence positive somehow, let's use a few. Okay. Tengo unos pocos amigos. Tengo cinco, cinco amigos, son poquitos, pero son suficientes para mí. Ok. Sabes que yo tengo cinco amigos, pero no son suficientes para mí. Entonces, in that case, I will use few. I have few friends. Tengo pocos amigos. I have a few friends. Tengo unos pocos amigos. Ok. So just by adding or removing this article, the sentence will change completely. Questions? No? Okay. Sorry. Now we have this. We have, this house is enormous. There are a lot of bad rooms. The landlord doesn't have a lot of time to assist the tenants. Vaya. As I already told you, we use a lot of for uncountable nouns or countable nouns. This one is very flexible. Este cuantificador es bastante flexible. Se puede usar tanto como eh, para, para plurales o singulares, contables o no contables. In this case, I'm saying there are a lot of bathrooms. Okay? Hay bastantes baños. And in this one, the landlord doesn't have a lot of time. El, el arrendadero no tiene mucho o bastante tiempo para ayudar a los tenants, inquilinos. Help me read the first sentence. Portal. Okay. I have period too much this year. I haven't saved much money. Many people talk about pollution signs since a, since, <laughs> since it, uh, many people talk about pollution since it's a community issue. Issue means problem. Okay. Issue means problem. So I have parted too much this year. He ido de fiesta mucho o demasiado este año. I haven't saved much money. Much is uncountable. The word money cannot be pluralized, okay? La palabra dinero no se puede contar, no se puede pluralizar, it's uncountable. Many people, people is the plural form, from, for, uh, the plural form of a uh, person, okay? Many people, muchas o varias personas uh, talk about pollution, hablan sobre la contaminación, ya que es un problema de la comunidad. So, remember, much, uncountable, many, countable. And now we have any. Help me, please, Edu Parada. The driver didn't deliver any orders. He didn't know how to find the customer addresses. Aha, uh -huh. continue. The new hires don't have any experience with the product. Excellent. So the driver didn't deliver any orders. So as I told you guys, we use any with negative statements. Okay. Y también any se ocupa para plurales y singulares. Okay. As long as we are using a negative structure or a question, we can definitely use any. So, the driver didn't deliver any orders. El conductor no entregó ninguna orden. Pero teacher, ¿por qué dice orden? Si ahí dice órdenes. Because in Spanish, that is grammatically incorrect. But in English, it works that way. So, he didn't know how to find the customer's addresses. So this is countable because we have orders. We have an S here. In this one, the new hires, los nuevos eh, empleados 
don't have any experience with the product. No tienen ninguna experiencia. Okay? So, experience in this case is uncountable. Okay? And singular, of course. And I can still use any. Any honors, any experience. Uh, I'll explain this later. No, actually, I'll send you this picture. Now let's see this. So click the right word and fill in the blank. We have some and we have any. Let's see. Juan Campos Hernandez. Read the sentence and select the correct uh, answer. There is some milk in the fridge. 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 Excellent. Daniel Hernandez. Jane, Jane doesn't have any friends? Eduardo Lucero. Uh, uh, do you have uh, some questions for me? Mm. Uh, any? <laughs> any, yeah. In this case, um, as I already told you guys, we use any most of the times, but not all the time, with negative statements and questions. Le dije, usamos any para eh, oraciones negativas y para preguntas. No siempre va a ser así, pero la mayoría de veces sí. So, do you have any questions? Eh, Jaime Antillón. Um. Would you like some cookies or cakes? Excellent. Gorgeous. Moses. Okay. Um. Uh, some some of my friends are going to the park. Uh, Juan Campos. You can have some job that you want. Oh. Vaya, esta es una de esas excepciones. You can have any job that you want. What is the meaning of any in this case, teacher? It means cualquier. Okay, so let's pay attention to the context. You can have cualquier trabajo que quieras or you can have eh, algún o un trabajo que quieras, unos o unas trabajos que quieras. This case, some doesn't match in this case. So we use any, which means cualquier, especially when we are giving options. Roberto Portal. Could you give me some water, please? Excellent. Juan Hernandez. He needs some medicine for his cold. Awesome. Christian. She can have any caffeine at night. Awesome. And the last one, let's see. Daniel Hernandez. Is there some pizza left? I'm hungry. Mm. Uh, any. Yeah, in this case, the best option is any. Why, teacher? Como? Por qué? Porque no, no encaja esta. Entonces, any in, the, in this case va, va a funcionar como algo. Hay algo de pizza ahí que la hayan dejado. 
Some sí también significa algo, pero no encaja de, de, en este contexto. La mejor opción siempre va a ser any. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ok, guys, because of the time, we're going to stop here. But before you go, let me check attendance. Eh, ella no, ya no ve, es lo que raro. Alexander Hernández Gallardo. Here, teacher. Carlos Edgardo. Uy. Vladimir. Hernández Lanza. Present teacher. Campos Hernández. Yes. Yes. Salazar Flores. Sens Guevara. Here, teacher. Mercado Parada. Martínez Ayala. Here, teacher. Flores Orellana. Antillón Lam. Here, teacher. Salazar Rauda. Portal Gómez. I'm here, teacher. Lucero de Paz. I'm here, teacher. González Martínez. Acosta Flores. Sacalchet Ramón. Edu. I'm here. Okay, guys, um, please don't forget to work on the platform and I will see you next week. Take care and enjoy your weekend. Good night. Okay, good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.